This is Twit. Let me ask Gina. She's a woman. Oh boy! Can you believe all go. the attention? <laughs> I feel, bad, you know, I feel kind of bad. So Vogue did an too. article on Marissa Meyer. It's Vogue. Marissa Meyer's always loved fashion. We know that. Mm. Uh, that doesn't make her less of a brilliant person or an engineer or a CEO. They did a, I think, a great looking picture of her in a in a designer dress with fabulous heels. Uh, (laughs) upside down and people say oh it overshadows the story and I don't think so can't we live in a world where somebody can be interested in fashion and still be brilliant yes yeah. We can. I, I do think that too much is made of of her looks, but it's kind of like it's it's a unicorn thing. It's like you're just not used to seeing young, right, female CEOs like in the position that she's in. And you know, look, I think I think Meyer has a lot of control and a lot of say in the way that she's presented in oh, the media. Yes. And I think that she oh. accepts these interviews and, and photo shoots and does so uh, full well knowing what they're going to turn out to be. And I think I think that she probably she uh, thought it was a good idea. She thought it was a good idea. I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if she had final say on on what the you know what photographs they finally publish. And I feel like if that's if she's comfortable with with that presentation, then that's then then that's cool. Um, but I do think that a lot, a lot is made of her appearance. But I think it's it's human nature to react to something that looks different. It is yeah. kind of like the unicorn principle. And I think if you read the article, uh, what is very impressive, and by the way, look at the other pictures. What is very impressive is that she uh, held her own. In a boys' club, you know. Actually, this is yeah. CEOs go wild. This is the wrong slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, th- did they make a lot about Richard Branson dressed as in drag as a stewardess? I don't know. Was that a big story? Yeah. Larry Ellison <laughs> drinking the largest that. bottle of champagne I've ever seen. Um, it's interesting. I I read the Vogue article on I think on Friday. And the link I had. That's not a, a, sorry, Danny. That's not a phrase I ever thought I'd hear on this show. Danny <laughs> Sullivan says, "I read the Vogue article." Well, I know I, you buy it for the articles, yes. But well, it's funny because I mean, I read so much on the internet. I don't, you know, you don't. I don't tend to think of it this publication, that public. I mean, I know yeah. Vogue and everything, right? But I, I clicked on the link and I read the article, and it was only the article. There was no pictures or anything. So I, I actually had this weird experience where I went in, I read the article critically. That's it, right? So I read the article critically, and I'm actually going through the article. Hmm, is that right there? What do I think about this? What about that? And I thought overall it was a good piece or whatever. I didn't see the couch thing at all until yesterday, which, by the way, I recreated on Twitter myself because I have that couch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not exactly, but I have a couch with that kind of thing. So, um it's a few tweets back I did yesterday, and that is a really hard pose to hold. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's Rupert Murdoch. I don't know how and... she did it because, yeah. She... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Danny, oh, they oh, have Danny. trained professional photographers, lighting technicians, makeup artists. Uh, you just you you can't duplicate that at no, home. And that's it. Let me tell you, my wife's like, no, you got to hold the iPad <laughs> this way, and I'm like, oh, so you know. First of all, I thought it was a great picture, and it went with a great article. And, you know, who cares what you want to pose it or whatever. Okay. So, so who, who said this? Danny Sullivan and Marissa Meyer. I really like even numbers, and I like heavily divisible numbers. Twelve is my lucky number. I just love how divisible it is. I don't like odd numbers, and I really don't like primes. When I turned 37, I put on a strong face, but I was not looking forward to 37. But 37 turned out to be a pretty amazing year, especially (laughs) considering that 36 is divisible by 12. (laughs) Wow. That's the lead in the Vogue piece. Wow. She may have re- regretted that particular quote. <laughs> uh, She's not regretting anything today, man. Je ne regrette rien.